Hello everybody, um, I am CyberWarrior94 here, I am going to tell you about whatever happened in the Apple press conference today on September 1st, 2010. We have a lot to go over, so let's start off quickly. Now, as you know, we have gotten the new iOS 4.1, or as Steve Jobs claims, iOS.1. Steve Jobs, really? Okay. So let's get on to what we will have on our new our, our iPhone 3GS's, iPhone 3G's, iPod Touches, and iPhone 4's. What he claims that will, iOS 4.1 will do is that it will fix any bugs in the proximity, Bluetooth, and 3G systems. That's really great because we've been suffering a lot of issues. I don't know about you guys with the iPhone 2G, but uh, 3G, 3GS, 4's, you will be happy. Another new feature only exclusive to, hint hint, the new iPod Touch and iPhone 4 users is the high dynamic range photos, also known as the HDR photos. What this is, is that the iPhone will, or iPod Touch, new hint hint, will be taking three simultaneously photos, one in normal resolution, one in high resolution, and one in low resolution. Put them together and make a perfect resolution photo with perfect light, perfect everything which is known as an HDR photo. I honestly am very proud of this idea. HDR photos are the hardest photos, it's like a full spectrum. And what's make the, what makes this really great, it will keep both the regular photo and the HDR photo in your Photos app, which is awesome. The next thing we will have is for iPhone 4 exclusives or hint hint iPod Touch uh, new gen, whatever. It will be capable of uploading HD videos via Wi-Fi. That is the biggest and newest feature. You can now upload videos that are HD over Wi-Fi to YouTube, set or Daily Motion, said whatever, and it's really great. Another thing iOS 4.1 will bring to you is TV show rentals. You will be able to rent a TV show for a dollar. Basically, pay-per-view, which is kind of stupid, but uh, you know Steve Jobs. And uh, along with that, the videos will have ads, something that nobody on YouTube likes. But get over it. And the final thing will be uh, called Game Center. It will be built into your iPhone. It's not revealed. It will be for the iPhone 4 or iPhone 3. Uh, actually, it has been revealed. iPhone 3G, 3GS, and iPhone 4 viewer users will uh, obtain this built-in. Basically, it's like a gaming system. Xbox Live on your iPhone, basically. You will uh, have updates from friends who also have this. Uh, you will play games online. So far, one game has been revealed, Epic Sword. It's kind of fun. It's from Game Center. Oh. The thing will be called Game Center. It's awesome. You'll get daily updates, and everything is going to be beautiful. Now on to what Apple has revealed, known as the iPod section. Everyone's been hoping for this, and I honestly am excited. So let me start off with the thing I've been blabbering out for the beginning of this video, the new iPod Touch. Basically, the new iPod Touch is nothing but the iPhone with 4 without the iPhone part. Yeah, nothing too special. It's the iPod Touch. It will have, interestingly enough, everything the iPhone 4 has. So you have... You'll have new retina display, you're going to have the A4 processor, the gyroscope, the digital camera, the HD cam video camera, you will have FaceTime over Wi-Fi, and uh, one new thing is that the iPod Touch will be thinner than the old iPod Touch, which is kind of great. It will have also built-in iOS 4.1 into it. It has also a built-in speaker and microphone, as all iPhone iPod Touches do. Everything else is a nothing that different. Uh, compared to everything else, the iPod Touch will um, ha has nothing else. Uh, starting prices will well the eight gig will go for two hundred and thirty dollars retail price. A thirty two gig will go for a whopping three hundred dollars. And then the 64 gig will go for a enormous $400. I don't know if you guys will like it, but it's it's a fair deal. Uh, another new iPod that was announced is the new multi-touch iPod Nano, or as I think the seventh generation of the iPod Nano, 
The iPod Nano is now a freaking small iPod Nano. It's 46% smaller than the uh, 6th gen iPod Nano and 42% lighter. And it will be, it's basically the iPod Shuffle shot, it's shape. A little bit bigger, but almost it. It has a, it will have the volume rockers for the, um, that came with the iPhone 4. And you will be capable of doing voiceovers in 29 different languages, which is great. And it has a built-in FM radio, Nike support, and a pedometer. And the best thing about this, it has a 24-hour battery life, which is outstanding in Apple's record. Um, now, what is another difference is that, like the iPod Shuffle, you don't need the pesky arm straps when you work out, which is a person like me will be very happy. It will have a built-in clip. You can clip it on your pant belt, belt buckle, belt. Basically, it's something very interesting, very worthwhile owning. I am very, I'm for one, I'm very proud of this. Uh, there will be two versions. One, the 8 gig version, which will sell for $150, and a 16 gig version that will sell for $180. A little overpriced, I would think the 8 gig should have been sold for $99, with the 16 gig selling for the 150 price point that was selling for the 8 gig. But that's my opinion that uh, it it has a revamped iOS, uh, which is not. I mean OS, not iOS. <laughs> it is a much different capable abilities than the old Nano. Uh, it's very tiny. Uh, honestly, I'm not fond of it because it's tiny, so big finger persons will have issues of it. Uh, it's basically the joke of the iPod Nano. Everyone was doing like the jokes of the iPad. Basically, meet the iPad Nano. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna be you're gonna be seeing a lot of videos like that in the YouTube community. But that's what the new iPod uh, Touch. Uh, uh, oh my god, uh, iPod Nano will bring to us. Um, what else? Uh, when you turn it around, you'll be able to manually f turn the screen over. Very very fine. Uh, you, it's genius uh, supported. What not? Now for the iPod Shuffle. As you know, the old iPod Shuffle, or as people still call it, the new one, will be stupid because it had no buttons. Well, the new iPod Shuffle's back in its ass, kicking as before, because it got its buttons back. And it comes in five different great colors. Silver, sky blue, lime green, orange, and hot pink. I honestly don't care. It will have a clip. It will have... Features such as it will support Genius Mixes playlist voiceovers. That's an interesting thing. It will have a good 15 hour battery life. It will have a 2 gig storage. Not good for me. I have 3 gigs worth of music. It will cost $50. That's a good thing. You will have a clip, obvious. And it's got your buttons. Yay. Previous generations, of course, is going to be different. What not? Uh, price and availability, thank you. It will be available next week, people. This is the coolest thing. It's available next week. <laughs> thank you, Steve Jobs, for telling us that crazy information. Now we're going to be seeing weird stuff. Yeah. Nothing else to say. And, as of course, people were expecting a, a new iPad. Not a Mac or iPad, Apple Keynote. Keynote. Do, 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 do. Don't have approved, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm just reading stuff off at of this moment. I'm, my, I'm sorry. My sorry is about this. Okay, what else? Uh, basically, everything has been revealed. ITV. I forgot all about that poor little guy. I, Apple TV has been redesigned to fit in the palm of your hand and it will cost a beautiful $100. This is the only thing I've been watching this press conference for which has gotten my eye on. Apple TV and it looks gorgeous. I honestly am excited for this. It will be have an HDMI power, it will have a built-in power supply, HDMI support and a uh, 
10.11 and wireless. That is very incredible. You will have also a uh, it it will also be able to hook up with your TV and whatnot. It is freaking short compared to the old Apple TV, so you can just kick its ass goodbye. Hello, new Apple TV. You uh, with the new features that iOS uh, 4.1 is featuring, I think the Apple TV will have a great uh, features to, uh, to like. Honestly, I am impressive of it. So nothing else was revealed in the um, will be uh, was interesting. Netflix on Apple TV. Oh, yeah, Netflix is going to be on there too. Yeah, you we already have Netflix. Well, we already have Netflix for the uh, the Wii, the 360, the PS3, your computer. Now we have your iPhone, your iPod Touch, and now it's going to invade Apple TV. What you know? What's next? We're gonna have now. All we need is one on um, the Nintendo DS and a DSI, well DSI and 3DS, and you guys are set. <laughs> okay, it's kind of funny, but Netflix is starting to take over. No wonder Best Buy is going out of business. But that is all I want to share with you guys. And uh, this is Cyber Warrior 94 signing off to you guys on YouTube. I hope you like this video. See you guys later. Oh yeah, just as a quick note, I will have another video uploaded. I will I possibly not be able to make videos this Friday and Saturday. We will be hit by Hurricane Earl. So uh, sorry for you guys. I won't be making any videos. Until then, see you guys later. Peace. Wish me luck.